Hello, good afternoon. Today I'd like to ramble on a bit and just quickly talk about something which I heard and discovered last night. So I was watching this documentary called um, James May in Japan. It's incredible. I'd recommend it to anyone and everyone. And it's basically him going around Japan, discovering its culture, everything about it. But what um, there was one part of the episode where he's in Tokyo and he finds out that every train station in Tokyo, so Tokyo has a subway system and every station in that subway system has its own mini jingle, it has its own tune. So whenever you're entering a station or you're at a station, for seven seconds this one jingle plays. And he actually went and met the composer of these jingles. And I, f I find that beautiful and remarkable. Um, definitely go on the internet, check out, listen to all these train jingles. But you might be thinking, oh, you know, it's seven seconds of music at a train station. Sure, whatever. But it's also so much more than that. Um, even if you don't, well, first of all, let's say you do live in Japan and you've been there for so many years, then at each train station, you know, on your day, you have those seven seconds of music ingrained in your head day after day. You know, when you wake up in the morning and go to the closest one to your home, you hear a jingle. When you go to school, you hear another jingle. When you maybe go to the nightclub district, you hear another jingle. So, there's a lot out there. So basically, the jingle and the music is sort of becomes ingrained in your life and everything you do. So what's so beautiful about music is it's abstract in nature in that you can't really define it in terms of another language and it evokes and expresses a feeling and emotion which is just hard to put down in any other way. So when you hear this jingle, or when you hear any one jingle, you're overcome with a rush of emotion and nostalgia and a sense of being alive and just remembering and embracing all the memories you have associated with that one jingle. So that's what's quite remarkable and beautiful about it. But when, when James May went and visited the composer of all these jingles, he quickly talked about how each jingle is sort of uh, composed to fit the theme and fit the train station. So what he said is he actually goes to each train station and he looks at the track and he looks at the way in which the train enters the station and he sort of tries to feel and experience that and then put that into musical terms, which is quite beautiful. Um, they played a few examples of different train station jingles. So he said that in locations where it's more school population, the music has a more youthful, energetic element. And when there's train stations in more historical parts of the city, he incorporates traditional Japanese elements in the music. So that adds an entirely new level to the association with the music. So the music is a reflection of the location you're in and it's a reflection of the entire vibe, the entire energy, the entire feeling you'll have there. And the two, the feeling and the music just intertwine and create like a beautiful experience. And that's honestly a, a big part of what I love about music. Um, another good example of this, which is of course also connected to Japan, what it reminded me of was music in the Pokemon games where each village and each city you go to has its own unique music and oh just thinking about it brings back waves of nostalgia but when you're playing a game and you go to a new city you're like ooh, and immediately from the first visual of being in the city and the music which plays 
you're forced to come up with some sort of um, idea of what the environment will be. And of course, when you go back to a town or when you go back to the old, your first ever town, I think it's Pallet Town, I might be completely wrong, but the first town in which your house is, and you hear that music again after days of exploring the whole entire world and you're back in that town and you hear that music back again, it's the most blissful, serene experience. And that that really inspires me to to explore and perhaps create music and live my life in a more musical way and understand that everything we do, all our life, all our emotions and experiences can be elevated and heightened with music, but also captured with music. And that's something very exciting to think about.